to Lords of the Realm 2. Hello, this is my video on how to beat the first map of the original campaign on Lords of the Realm 2. Please enter your name and select your shield. I believe it's called Perry No. Feed your pest. Right click on item cattle. Alright, first thing I like to do. Oh, they're putting me over here. That's fine. First thing I like to do is get rid of all my cows. Buy these goods, my lord. Buy enough grain to get by. So maybe I'll go 600, 700, something like that. And then buy these goods, my lord. I'll buy a ton of iron. Buy these goods, my lord. And the remainder in wood. And both of those things that I can I can mine, but that's going to be able to give me a jump start on uh, developing weapons. All right, I'll probably go with five fields for now, and I'll slowly up those as time goes on. Get rid of the cow fields here. Make sure that I switch over to the eating wheat, and then I've got to resolve this issue here. So for here, I think I'll just put everybody making those for now. Forestry. And here we go. So I guess I need to... Ah, I'm out of wood. To build a weapon, and also, I like... Uh, uh, both bows and pikes are fairly efficient. You could use uh, maces too. They don't take a lot of uh, resources, but I like pikes because um, they're, I think, better defense for defense than, than maces. Um, and pikes, you can get hit with arrows, and they'll live a little bit longer. So they're kind of my, for, my preferred cheap weapon. Making sure my iron's not running out. There's my first harvest. I'm up to 600 people, so maybe I'll do seven fields for this next season. I just don't want to run out of food. Uh, and since my happiness is now 100, I'll up my taxes to seven for a little while. Checking in on my iron and weapons. Now at this point, I kind of want to build just like a, a minuscule army. I'll go until uh, a good cutoff is right at 90 happiness because each next click, there's like a precipitous drop off of happiness. So I like to do it so that it gets down to 90. It's just like a subtraction of 10 happiness. This is a pretty small army, but that's fine. I've got plenty of weapons. I'm not going to really use this army for anything important. I think what I'll do with them, and now I'm going to adjust that so I know that I have plenty of wheat. I'll pull back my taxes to two so that I can climb back up. After raising an army, and basically, I'm just going to take this guy and I'm going to move him over to decimate burnt amber. I'm just going to have him burn all these fields uh, so that when the Baron tries to expand, if he wants to expand, he won't have anywhere to expand to. Um, or, like, it won't be a very industrious nation. Or industrious county, rather. All right, running over here. The presence of your men at arms in our yeah, no, try no. to conquer a county. I could conquer the county. I just don't even want to deal with having to manage it, to be honest, because I'll just be able to smoke the Baron with this one county anyway. All right, we're back up to 100 happiness. So boom, I'll go seven. Checking out on weapons. Still building pikes. This guy over. Your violation of our football. Destroy these crops. Yeah, I'll just destroy as many as I can. Alright, maybe I'll switch back over to bows here. Destroy these crops. Destroy these crops. Alright. I'm just cruising here. 
Continue to produce weapons. My population's going up. That's good. Destroy these crops. And once I get rid of uh, Burnt Amber's fields, uh, then I'm just going to sit tight. Or maybe I'll go down and I'll start to mess with the Baron, too. I'm not ready to attack him yet. He's already got people in his castle. Uh, and I'm just going to um, try to slowly starve him out. That's kind of my, my strategy here. Getting pretty decent weapons here. Maybe I'll buy more iron. Buy these goods, my lord. Maybe I'll buy some wood too. Buy these goods, my lord. Destroy these crops. I'm actually just gonna wait because they'll probably cow that field and then I'll kill it too before going down to annoy the baron. Uh -oh. ah. Sending this guy over, I don't know what he plans to do, but that's fine. He's just built this army, so maybe he wants to come over and occupy uh, Tau. I'm not sure, but I don't really care. Oh, he's coming for me. So, I just lost that battle. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I didn't really want to face him. I mean, I could beat him in a, in a battle, but instead I want to do this. I'm going to load uh, my last turn, and I'm going to quickly change my game speed down to 2. Watch this. I'm going to wait till he starts moving, and then I'm going to move mine. Uh, and it's like super cheapo. You couldn't do this if this was in like a multiplayer setting, but I'll definitely be able to do it here, where you can slow the game down, wait till he starts moving, and he'll never, never get you. So I'm going to use this method. He's going to chase me around, and I'll just go and exterminate all these fields slowly. Um, over here, wait for some more pike production. It slows down the turn, but that doesn't really matter. Destroy these crops. Destroy these crops. Uh oh, he's changed his mind. I don't know where he's going now. He wants to go invade somebody, I'm not sure. That's fine. Maybe I'll make a little army here. So again, if I, you know, if you just leave it at this happiness minus ten thing, it'll give you decent numbers. Sounds fine to me. Lower taxes again. And because he wants taup, I think I might just come through and uh, exterminate these fields. So it's not a very useful spot again. Ending turn. Destroy these you are. Uh, he's gonna try and come after me. No he's not. Destroy these crops. Enough of your Maybe he's sending that guy to go burn my field, I'm not sure. <laughs> he's pretty mad right now. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing here. So bringing up this guy. Oopsie. I don't want to attack. Just here to burn the fields. Uh, I'm not sure if he's coming for me or if he's coming for Tau. Ah, looks like he's going for, for Tau. It's good. Destroy these crops. Destroy these crops. Nice. And I'm curious what's going on with this other guy. Yeah, maybe he's sending him in for reinforcements. Maybe he's sending him to burn the fields. I don't know. My field. Oh, I should probably start to farm more. Whoopsie. I'll do it in this next cycle. Because seven's not going to be enough. Destroy these crops. This <laughs> he did come for Tau. And this guy maybe is coming in for reinforcements, I'm not sure. Alright, this is starting to recover, I don't really care. Um, I'm going to up my fields here. Eight, nine, ten, which should probably be the trick. 
You know, so I could go through and I could occupy these lands one by one. I'm just not really interested in doing that. Destroy these crops. Destroy these crops. I'm gonna have the juice to get there. No, not throw enough mustard. That's good. All right, let's see what the Baron's play is here. See when he starts to move. Destroy these crops. Destroy these crops. All right, he's gonna try and come for me. All must hope. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that, Baron. So at this point, I'm gonna raise another army. And I'm starting to get a lot of men. So once I combine my armies, I'll just be able to stomp them out. There we go. Kill the cow. Alright, so presumably he'll attack that one. I'll probably just fight the battle. Unless he, it's like 40 peasants or something like that. All right, babbity babbity. Yeah, I'll probably lose some men here, but whatever. No, I didn't lose any. Nice. So now he can't come burn my fields, which is good news. And I'm just gonna march over to start to amass my my troops. Do I burn these fields? I don't know what he's gonna do with that guy. He's probably gonna want to fight me. Destroy these crops. Destroy these crops. Alright, at this point I'm going to start to gather my troops, I think. At one central location. Oh, I guess I can't make pikes anymore. I'm all out of iron. Doesn't really matter. Let's see. We've got plenty of pikes. Let me switch back to bows. And I can switch over to producing iron too. Doesn't really matter. He's gonna come for me here. Destroy these crops. There we go. Now at some point I should probably come face him. I don't know if I'm ready to do that yet. Combine these armies. Combine those armies. Cycle this guy back through. The presence of your I don't know. Raise my taxes back up again. Kind of want to see how far he'll chase me. Oh, no, he doesn't want to. He wants to march down to get me. I say let him. Combine these armies. What's he doing? I don't know what he's doing. Doesn't really matter. Hmm. All right, I think I'm just gonna march on his capital and hope that Tauf revolts. Is he coming for me? Yeah, we'll see about that. So this is Garrison for 150. I'll just go 144. I'll just garrison the castle. Garrison this castle.
Hopefully he'll just lay a siege. And hang out. I hope I can just run through this army. I hope they don't stop me. Oh, nice. Best case scenario. Alright, two turns. Hopefully I'll be able to weather the siege. Otherwise I'll be in big trouble. Hopefully Taup will revolt soon. I don't know. Huh. I don't really want to fight it. Nice. Hopefully it'll still let me siege. One turn left. Yeah, ran out of turns. That's okay. At some point I should probably raise another army. I'm going to just auto-calc this and see how it turns out. Boop. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Smoked him. Siege this castle. So that's this is the window from the siege before. So I'll just throw up a couple battering rams. That's fine. Uh, again, back to this happiness. Two fifty one. Don't really care. And this will be my Taup attack force. Doesn't really matter because I just don't think he's going to have any citizens here. It's going to be pretty easy to conquer. Now at this point, it's just a waiting game. Throw my game speed back up. <laughs> he's looks like he's sending supplies back from Taup. And it has revolted. All right. We welcome to our humble. Thank you. All right, I'm going for the siege. Ooh. Question is, I maybe could probably beat it on an auto calc, but I'm just gonna fight it anyway because it's fun. All right. Bringing out my battering ram. I'm gonna bring these guys back. I usually would only ever auto calc a siege if I was attacking. If I um, yeah, if I uh, knew that it was the last battle, and I just knew I was gonna win. Um, oh man. So this, you know, this would be a fine case to auto kill, um, but I kind of wanted to battle it anyway. And if you know, if it's not your last siege, of course, never auto calc sieges, because the auto calc really screws you over. And you know, if you. If you're smart about the siege, you can, you know, make out like a bandit. I can see if I can slowly kill his archers by attrition. Man, he's gonna get me with that. <laughs> so if you can attack the oil, that's like best case scenario. There, perfect. Just gonna march these guys right in. some casualties, that's fine. And then bring in my bows. And the siege is won. So it's over. Thank you. Yes. Victory is mine. Then I'll go on to Rose. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, happy Lords of the Realm 2ing. Exit the game, my lord.